previously on the Steve Saga. All right, Alex, let's save Galaxy Steve. If we're gonna do it, we're gonna need, well, a lot more resources. So when I activate it, I'm gonna need you to try and focus on the connection you have, well, now to the guardian of the spirit world that we just met. I think there's something. You're right, I think it worked, that's right, yeah! Okay, uh, Alex, let me see if I can get you out of there. Once I go through this portal, there's no way for me to contact you again, so this is goodbye for now, but I will make sure that I get back. I'm gonna get Galaxy Steve and we're gonna come back out of here. Okay, Galaxy Steve, I'm coming for you. about you we lost saber what it didn't the portal didn't work i failed saber i thought i was able to open up a portal to the spirit world but clearly you're not able to go there and i guess we're gonna be stuck here forever thanks to origin steve G galaxy steve i think you're you're a little confused are you, do you think that this didn't work going through the portal well of course it didn't work saber you are you i guess going through the portal must have Mess with you a little wait, bit. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on. I, Galaxy Steve, wait, that's right. Time is different here. How long ago did I just go into the portal for you? You, well, I mustered up my energy and I tried to open a link to the spirit world and then you ran through, but then you just immediately came back out. And I guess, <laughs> guess we're going to be stuck here forever. No, I can't believe it. I, I was worried about you. I thought that you would be sitting here for so long, losing your mind because so much time had passed, but I forgot time is slower here. Time is faster in the regular world. That means we should probably get out of here pretty fast or pretty soon, but <laughs> Galaxy Steve, it it worked. What do you mean it, it worked? Saber, I think going through the portal might have, I don't know. Do you need a thinking cap, Saber? No, 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 no. No, I know you're probably really confused right now, but Galaxy Steve, to you, like, two seconds had passed, but to me, I've I've gone on an entire adventure, dude. I I made it. I I went through the spirit world. I made it back to get you. Wait, you, you're... You... you <laughs> wait, just, just Saber, wait, I got it, it, dude. I made it. I made it. Well, you it, made it, Saber. <laughs> oh, that's kind of hard. <laughs> sorry, Saber, sorry. Galaxy it. Steve, I'm so, so happy. So we're not going to be stuck here forever? No, Saber. look. <laughs> the portal, so it stayed open because, well, I have a little help keeping it open, but Galaxy Steve, I've been through so much trying to get back to you. I was so worried that you were going to be stuck here alone forever. I I, I, I thought, can't believe it, though. I can't quick, believe it quick. either. Well, spit it out, Saber. Tell, tell me, what happened? Well, where do I start? The spirit world. I went through it. I, When you sent me to it, I met someone there. They met me at the portal. When you opened the portal up to the spirit world, someone had to complete the connection for you, right? Well, of course, I... We assumed... I tried to make... Well, we assumed it was going to be a bunch of Steves, right? Well, yeah. It wasn't. It was one Steve. His name is... Well, wait. I guess his name... He didn't really tell me his actual name, but... He told me that he was the guardian of the spirit world. The guardian of the spirit world? Yeah. Who... He... I guess that makes sense. I never really thought about it. But the spirit world almost is like its own dimension, so it probably needs to have its own guardian, but... Yeah, pretty much. And what he... Did, what was, did he tell you, Saber? Well, he was a pretty nice guy. He sounded a little funny. I, I think it was just because, you know, it's due to him being the protector of that entire world. He's probably got a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of uh, responsibility on his shoulders and all that. But he, he told me, well, there was only one rule in the spirit world, and that's to not disturb the peace and... Everyone must coexist and, you know, they kind of all that. I forgot exactly what it was he said, but it was pretty much along those lines of everyone needs to live in harmony and, you know, they, they all need to be happy in, the, in that world, which makes sense because it's the end of their journey, so there shouldn't be any quarrels or anything. I wasn't too sure exactly what he meant by that until I found out later by seeing someone else there, but I'm getting ahead of myself. He spoke to me and told me that he completed the connection because, well, he saw so many Steves enter that world. You know, their journey's coming to an end, and they were so unhappy. Fewer and fewer Steves were even showing up because the Steves were, well, going extinct in a way. He was sick of seeing them so sad entering the world. Of course, they will be at peace there, but 
They always enter with such a distinct emotion on them, and he was hoping that I could change the regular world for the better. He believed in me. Well, I'm glad that he saw that in you, Saber, but I still have so many questions. How did you get back here? I mean, how did you get out of the spirit world? I know I, I, there's so many unanswered questions, Saber. Well, okay, okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Look, look I, I, a lot's happened. A lot has happened, but I, I'll make sure that you understand how it all went down. Look, I got out of the spirit world because, well, I met Rainbow Steve there. What? He was there, and his journey truly had come to an end. It's, it's not possible for him to ever come back, but I finally got closure oh. with him. I got to speak to him and- so Everything with, well, with Void Steve, and that really was the end of his journey, wasn't it? It really was, but I told him that it didn't go down for nothing. I told him that we defeated Void Steve. I, I told him how I haven't given up hope, and neither had you. I mean, you had already I... risked so much trying to get me into the spirit world. He was proud of both of us. I never got to say goodbye. I wish you could have. There was obviously no way for you to enter the spirit world, seeing as you're a Steve. I mean, I shouldn't but have been there anyways in the first place. I was already breaking the rules. I have one question, though. Is is he happy now? He is. He really is. He came to terms with everything. He even got his memories back. When I met him, he had lost so many memories, but but he remembered all of it. His time from before he met me. So he, he regained all of his memories? Yeah. Don't think he really told me all of it. We were on a bit of a time crunch while I was in the spirit world, but he did give me the gist of it and he ran me down on how everything worked and it was crazy. I'll tell you about all of that some other time. But either way, after he told me all of that, he introduced me to some other Steves. Steves in that world can choose to show themselves to you. So I hadn't seen a lot of Steves. Obviously you would think that you're in the spirit world, you'd see Steves all over the place, but they didn't show up because they didn't choose to show themselves to me. That also well, explained why I didn't see a couple of the Steves that had passed on that I was good friends with. I guess that makes sense since, well, you're not really a part of the spirit world. If they didn't want to show themselves, I guess they didn't have to. Yeah, and I was hoping I could see some Steves there, but the guardian of the spirit world who I saw later on in the regular world, this is all really complicated, but he assured me that even if they didn't show themselves to me, those Steves that I didn't happen to see while I was there are most likely happy. All the Steves there are content and at peace with themselves. I have to ask, Saber, did you did you meet Time Steve at all? No, I didn't. I'm sorry, but if it's anything like the Guardian of the Spirit World said, he's definitely gonna be happy there, so don't worry about it, okay? I I guess so, but the, wait. I'm how did you how did you get out of the spirit world? Right. I got out because, well, Rainbow Steve showed me to a well, he showed me to a couple of his friends, like I was saying, and, well, I, I knew a couple of them. Some of them I, I didn't really know, and they were just new people, but I did know two of them. I don't think you're going to really like both of these answers, but do you want to know who the two people I knew were? Well, you said I'm not going to like the answer, but I guess I'm going to figure out no matter what, who was it? Well, one of them was the yellow Steve that used to be Nightmare Steve. But... I guess I don't really want to know how he ended up there, but that's so sad. Either way, that yellow Steve, he went through a lot. He did a lot. He was controlled by evil people, but he himself was evil down to the core at one point. But he's made up with everyone. In the spirit world, him and Rainbow Steve became good friends, and he seemed like a genuinely nice person. I'm glad that, well, he got to be able to come to peace with everything. I know that he did a lot of bad things, but in the end... He made the choice to become a good person, and he tried his hardest to be one. Who was the other Steve that you met? The other Steve that I knew was Purple Steve, the one that was on the adventures with us. But Saber, we... It's like we just talked to him. He wanted to go... He wanted to go off and do his own adventures. Saber, Saber, what happened to him? It's hard to explain, but I just... Some of these things that I need to tell you would be better explained if I really just showed you the world, but for now, all I have to say is that he lived a happy and full full life. He really did. But, he was content. But, Saber, that, that doesn't make any sense. Look, I know it's confusing. Yes. How could he live a full life if we literally just saw him a, a short while ago? It'll make sense once I show you the regular world. The world that is now, well, the realm for the Steves. I just, just want to warn you that it's not the same world you remember. It's changed but, drastically. Are there, are there still sandwiches? There were never sandwiches in our world, remember? Right. Pufferfish? <laughs> yes. 
fishing? Of course. There's there's puffer fish in fishing still. Don't worry Is about there, that. Is there... Well, are there... Are the Steves gone? That's a different story. But either way, look. I got out of the spirit world because Rainbow Steve and all of his friends decided to put together their energy to open up a portal. They brought me back to the regular world. Wow. Even in the spirit world, Steve still have that much power when they come together. What's more shocking to me is that I thought all those Steves had resented me. Purple Steve and... Well, Yellow Steve, I didn't think that they were really that good of terms with me, but they pulled together. They decided that I would be able to help the Steves, and they brought their energy together and opened a portal. They got me out. When I entered the world, the world that we were separated from, I saw that it was different. But I saw that it had changed. I'm still a little confused, Saber. How did you get back here? This is completely cut off from the timeline. There isn't a single Steve that I know that'd be able to do something like this. Yeah, well, it wasn't a Steve that did it. Look, there's a lot that you're gonna have to learn when we go back to this regular world, but you know that we'll always be friends, right? Of course, Saber. You know that we'll I've got your back, friends. right? Yeah, of, of course, Saber. You're kind of starting to freak me out now. Look, I don't know how things are gonna be in this regular world once you enter it. I also worry that we've been in here a little too long, so we, uh, we might have a little issue on our hands once we exit, so we're probably gonna have to make our way through here at, uh, pretty soon. Think about okay. it. Time here moves a lot slower than it does in the regular in the regular world. So, we might want to hurry up. Either way, mm, I don't know, Saber, because normally I think you're right. But if you say somebody's opening up a portal, that means we're connected to the timeline now. You're right. We sh this portal has been connected the entire time I've been here. That means that the time probably has only been passing at the same rate as the regular world. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Well, Exactly. Okay, does that mean the portal closed for a split second when I left? Yeah, it... Well, it flashed closed for just a second and then reopened. Oh, that all makes sense then. Either way, Galaxy Steve, look, I came all the way back out of the spirit world, back to the regular world to come back and get you. I can't wait to bring you back to the regular world. I've got someone waiting on the other side that I think I'd like you to meet, so just please... Don't freak out when you come through, okay? Of course, Saber. Promise me. I, it's gonna I, be shocking. Don't I, lose your cool when you meet this person. They'll feel... Uh, well, they'll probably be, probably feel a little hurt if you do. And I told them you'd be understanding, and I know you would, but it's gonna still be quite a shock nonetheless. So just promise me you won't freak out. Oh, okay. I, I promise I won't freak out, Saber. All right. Well, what do you say we head back through this portal? Head back uh, to the regular world and we leave this bubble behind forever. I can't wait to do that, Saber. I was afraid that I might we might not ever get out of here. Knowing that the time hasn't been passing by like it did when I was or when we were both separated from the timeline, I'm a little more calm now that I know that that person hasn't been waiting forever for us. So, let's just get through there and say hi to them, shall we? All right, Saber. Let's get out of here once and for all. Regular world. Here we come. Ah!